Uh, what's your name? My name is Shervin. Huh? Shervin, Shervin. Shervin, yeah, my name is Shamsi Shervin. Originally, where are you from, if you don't mind? Yeah, yeah I'm um, Kudasau. Huh? I'm born in the Netherlands, but I'm a uh, Kudasau. Uh, okay, uh, uh, okay, okay, mashallah. What I would say to you, that you as a Christian and as a Muslim, we believe God is perfect. Yes. Correct? Yes. Okay. God knows everything all the time. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know knows, where this is going. Yeah. Uh, Jesus doesn't know the hour. Anyway. No, 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 not about just that. God knows everything all the time. Yeah, yes. Correct? If God knows everything all the time, He knows He has a perfect knowledge. Yes. Therefore, He will never become ignorant. True that, yeah. 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 In, in way, yeah, yeah he will never become ignorant. Yeah, yeah. If He become ignorant, then it's not God. There's no God. So yeah, you cannot justify it to say He become human. Yeah. Because yeah. that, if He become human, yeah, not God anymore. He's yeah. not God anymore. Yeah, I know the point. I know so how can you... Believe As a person who God gave you intellect, sound reasoning, yes. harmonize between Jesus. God is perfect, but yet still and human. yet he became he became limited. Yet, yet being limited in a way because there's a simple answer with the with the saying all the time is like at one point in time Jesus is God, fully divinity, but at one point he just took, takes on a human flesh. So like you and me, just a human, we can't we can see. So it's it's a, it's, it's a mystery to us uh, how he revealed himself to us at some point at some time. So we still believe Jesus is God, but we also believe at some point he is human just as us. That's the beautiful thing about Jesus, is that he still has his divinity, but yet he's still on the same level, so, so we can com uh, com uh, comprehend the feeling uh, of, of ours. So that so, Jesus knows the hour? He, he knew the hour. I believe myself that he knew, the hour, he knew the hour at some point, but yet when he came as a human, he gave, he gave the attributes, some attributes of God, Listen. That's contradiction. Yeah, it seems like contradiction. It's not, it seems, it is contradiction. Yeah. Okay, whole... if you know my name, yeah. okay, well, you have to understand, yeah, if God is perfect, he has a perfect knowledge. And when we say perfect knowledge, mean he will never, he was never ignorant. Yes. And he doesn't forget. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So that's mean, he, there was no ignorance prior to, to, to him at all. He knows everything, I mean his knowledge, and doesn't forget. So when Jesus said, I don't know, no one knows the hour, the even himself doesn't know the hour, only the Father. Was Jesus speaking the truth or was he lying? He was speaking the truth. So he therefore Jesus doesn't know the hour. He, does, he didn't know that, maybe at that time he didn't know the hour. Yeah, but God knows everything all the time. Yes. So if he knows everything all the time, yeah. by default, he cannot be ignorant and he cannot forget any time. Yes. If he becomes ignorant in any time, he cannot be the same God who knows everything all the time. That's called a paradox. Point. Yes, yes, I know the point. It's a great yeah. point. But yeah. what I believe for myself is that sometimes in, in, when Jesus was walking on earth, that sometimes he didn't express himself as God. A few moments in the New Testament, he shows himself that he's the God. Even the Jews tried to kill him because he's making the claim that he's, he has some definitive. You can utilize it. You, can, you cannot utilize Jewish people as a proof because no. Jewish people also believed he was not a Messiah. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. exactly. But my point yeah. is more like sometimes, and I believe sometimes he needed to express himself as a God and sometimes he needed to express himself as a human being because he came on a mission to, to, to live just like a human being because he, your God is not a But Jesus being. as a God is not a father, is he? No, he's a son. He's a son. Like the, like Who knows the, the hour, the father or the son? He's okay, you believe Jesus had two nature. The yeah, son, the, the, he has the, human nature yeah, and a God the, nature. The, 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 Focus, yeah? yeah? Jesus as God, not as a son, yeah. not as human. Jesus as God is a son. He's not a father, he's a son. Yeah, he's a son. Okay. Jesus as God, does he know the hour? As God, he knows the hour, yes. That's not true because Jesus said only the Father knows. No, no, before that, Jesus already excludes anyone. He, he said only the Father. If it's only the Father, therefore the Son, because Jesus is not the Father. So therefore, he, Jesus, as a, even as for the sake of argument, even say Jesus as God, he doesn't know because Jesus said only the Father. Also, he took out the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes, yes. So therefore, according to Jesus, according to Jesus, Matthew 13, 32, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus as God, no, no, does he I, know the hour I, I, or only the Father knows the hour? The, the Father, let me say the Father. Because Jesus cannot be God because even as God does not know the hour. And he cannot be God. You know what I did? You know, you know what you have to understand, bro, yeah? This, you know what Jesus said is yeah. very similar it's in the Quran. Yeah, to show you they come with the same teaching. In the Quran, Allah said, yes, They ask you about the hour. Yeah. yeah? When it will establish the meaning of the verse, yeah? So they ask him, Prophet Muhammad, when the day of judgment will happen. What Prophet Muhammad said, he said, only the meaning of the verse, only Allah knows. 
So Jesus and Prophet Muhammad, they said the same thing. Because yes. both of them, they were messengers of the Most High. Yes. Okay? Yeah. And to give you a rational, logical argument, which is in the Quran, Allah said in the Quran about Jesus, why he cannot be God. Allah mentioned about Jesus and his mother, كان يأكلان الطعام. These are powerful arguments. Both of them used to eat food. That's not the nature of the Most High. The Most High is not in need of anything. Everything is in need of the Most High. If the Most High became something and he's in need of that thing, he cannot be the Most High who is self-sufficient. This is a logical argument used. Yeah. Allah used. And I understand you completely, but even there are some places in the New Testament which it takes it takes on claims like only a divine being can have or can be, such as uh, I am the Father are one. So, so, so it's kind you know, of, the, kind you know the context of that? Yeah, kind of thing like that. But this, no, no, do you know the context of that? The like context. The context. The, if you read the context, you know, the, when, when Jesus then goes on to say to his disciples, yeah. just as I, just as uh, I and the Father are one, I'll pray to the Father, you are one too. So the disciples are one with them. What does that mean? One in purpose. Because if you say, when Jesus said, I and the Father are one, mean one, they are one, they're not one. Because you already believe Jesus is not the Father and the Father is not the Son. So clearly they're not one as the way you should think about it. Also, when Jesus said that, okay, does God have a God? Does God have a God? No, but he said, to my God, to your God. Is it no, before God? that, Jesus as a God, because to show you, look, doesn't make any sense, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, he was God and a man at the same time. Jesus as a man, Jesus as a man, yeah? Who is his God? As a man, the Father. Yes. What about the other nature of Jesus as God? He's not God anymore? It's still God. Is that the God of Jesus as human? Yeah, in some way it is. This is great. In some way it is. Yeah, but Jesus very... negate that. Jesus said, I'm going to my well, Father, your Father. Who is... God, your so therefore, the Jesus as a human, his God is the Father. But we know God is the God of everyone. So if Jesus as God is a God of everyone, he could be God of himself as a human. So therefore, that's a great mystery. Actually, it's If it's mystery, what do you mean? It's a mystery that I've revealed it to But if it's a mystery, you know what is a mystery? Mystery is worse than a theory. Mystery, yeah, mystery, mystery is worse than a theory. It cannot be explained. So do you think we you look look Islam is simple. When you teach Christianity, you say it's a mystery, yeah? But we know the most high will never punish people based upon something that we cannot comprehend and cannot understand. That's why the Most High is not going to punish me because I don't know uh, how he looks. Because that's beyond my capacity of understanding, you know? Why he's going to punish me? Clearly said, worship me alone and don't worship no one beside me. If I worship someone beside Allah, Allah will punish me because the verse is clear. The statement is clear. Look Islam, how Allah describes himself. ahad. Say Allah is one, unique. Allah is self-sufficient. Everything is in need of Him. He begat not, neither was He begotten. There is nothing comparable to Him. There is nothing like unto Him. Another verse Allah said, Allah who is Allah? The one who deserves to be worshipped alone. The ever-living, the one who is in charge of everything. So that's the God we worship, perfect God. Then you come to Christianity, God become a baby, someone breastfed him, someone changed his nappy, yeah, the, God, the God got beat up by people that he created, but God is all powerful, God was scared, he was hiding, that is not a God, that's deficiency. Come to Islam. Okay, now we're going to explain why that's such a beautiful thing. You say God is a baby, he has breastfeed, I get the point, but what's the reason about that? It's not, it does not become human just because it can be a human or something like that. Because he had a mission to do so, he became in flesh. And that's the beautiful message of Christianity, which you believe today. Because as a human, Jesus walked from, from baby to death as a human. So to show us how to how God has to be worshipped. And so, even Jesus has the same. Uh, you remind me of someone to justify a crime. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Out of respect. You know what you're doing? You're saying, but you know why? The, regardless, no, yeah. regardless what justification is, is invalid. Because why? God is perfect, bro. Perfect, I'm but, saying you can't worship oh, 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 a perfect oh, 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 God. Don't say, it, 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 it isn't the, the, the case if, if God takes on human flesh, doesn't make him imperfect. It, it makes, it, when he becomes a baby. Yeah, it makes, it makes him imperfect. Okay. Because God never ceases to exist, even though it is no, no, flesh, okay. God never ceases to exist. Okay, who's in charge of that baby? 
the, the mother breastfed him, so she's yeah, not being yeah, old. The, the, the flesh, yeah, the flesh. Uh, yeah, okay, flesh. You, you say it's the flesh, yeah? yeah. According to your Bible, John yeah. 1 1, yeah. he said, God, the word became flesh, flesh. meaning God became flesh. Yeah. So it's not, he never said, word, word, yeah, word. in the beginning was the word, and yeah. the word was with God, and the word is God. Yes, then, then the word became flesh, yeah? yeah? He never said the word became a soul. So the word became flesh. So you Christians should say, no, he was a flesh human being. No, he became flesh. If he became flesh, so that flesh, that baby in the flesh that was touched, his mother was touching, breastfeeding him, that was God, he became like this. Are you serious to believe this is the biggest calamity? That you believe God, the most high. Yeah. You know, in the, in the Old Testament, Jacob said, oh God, the heavens and the earth cannot contain you. The heavens and the earth cannot contain you, cannot hold you, contain you. Let alone my temple. Okay, who is bigger? I have respect. Who is bigger? The temple of Jacob or Jesus' mother's womb? The temple of Jacob. The temple. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if his temple cannot contain God, yeah. and before the temple, yeah. the heavens and the earth, yeah. but he's inside this one. So either Jacob was lying when he said, the heavens and the earth cannot contain you, yeah, even my temple. Like, well, it doesn't make like any sense. A, yeah, but like maybe. Many prophets could say what they said, but they like expression of how they see God because then you had a different view of how he saw God. Yeah, but you believe God's bigger than his creation, yeah, is it? Of course, of course. Is he bigger than his creation? Yeah, of course. All but, the time. Yeah, but how can then the question rises, how can he and No 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 wait, before before how? Is God bigger than his creation all the time? Yeah, yeah. All yeah. the time. Yeah. So when he was inside the, the Mary, yeah, but it was, was that it's not yeah. all the time? So that's a contradiction. Yeah, Paradox. No, no, because he still was bigger than Spirit, still had the Father, still had the Holy Spirit. No, no, the Jesus thing, as God. The only thing, the only thing that happened with Jesus special is at one time he descended into flesh, but still God the Father still exists up there. No, no, I'm talking the about the Father. Jesus exists. as God. Jesus yeah, as God. If you talk about Jesus as God, you, you, if you talk about Jesus, you have to talk about all the three because they three forms of unity, which you believe like They don't unity. because why? They don't all the time. They don't they, because they do. no, no, no. The no, Father never. I'll no, tell you why. The Father never asked help from Jesus. Sorry. The Father never asked help from Jesus. Yeah, but even if, if that's always the in the Bible, Jesus, asked Jesus, the Father never said help me. No. I'm gonna. Jesus always he's a servant of the, the Father. Why? So therefore, he, I understand because he will come die for our sins. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But my point here is yeah. that doesn't make any sense bro what i'm saying to you yeah. that you telling me god was inside smaller womb doesn't yeah. make any sense that's why we say look be honest yeah. i know deep down it doesn't make any sense <laughs> well you know that and i'll tell you this, you know it it's good to smile yeah, if you really open your eyes yeah it's of course i'm gonna open my eye big i will lie yeah. how is gonna so yeah the way we say to you look yeah. we're gonna stand before god yeah. Yeah. and we're going to die that's what Allah in the Quran utilizes psychological arguments for the people who are rejecting that which is not by necessity. When you die or she dies and all of us are going to die, no one's going to come up us inside the grave. Allah said you will return the way we created you. In the Quran, Allah said about people claiming that Allah has a son, this is the biggest is a calamity, let alone God the Most High becoming a baby. You know, that's a paradox. If you say God become baby, that is, within itself is a paradox. Because God is not creation, and the creation is God. If God become a creation, therefore He created the creation. But He become a creation. So who created that creation is God. But God is not created. But He become a creation. Well, that doesn't make any sense. No, 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 the Quran Islam is so simple. Bro, you can you Caribbean, correct? Yeah, I'm Caribbean. Okay. My family Caribbean too. You know, Car the Europeans brought to us Christianity. Yeah, yeah. And they brought to Africa Christianity, yeah? And forced it upon us. Yeah? The same people that forced us to become Christians, they have left Christianity. Holland, you're from Holland? Yeah. Holland is not Christian, it's more liberal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. They're atheistic. Yeah, yeah. yeah, France. Why? Because they've noticed a lot of people either, a lot of Christians either be sorry, have uh, uncle, yeah. Either they're becoming a Muslim. Or they are atheists because you cannot stand telling someone God become a baby, but God the Almighty become baby. That's paradox. Also, 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 when you look to Islam, Islam has solution for everything. You know, let, let him come, let him come forward, let him come forward, let him come forward. Yeah. yeah. What we say to you? Look, I say go home and pray yeah. to the God of Abraham and the God of Jesus. Say, oh God, guide me to the truth. 
that's what I believe in. Yeah. yeah, you believe in the God of Jesus? Yeah. So Jesus has a God? Yeah. yeah. It cannot you, be God. Yeah, Jesus has a, he has a God, the Father. Yeah, yeah but, but Jesus is God. God. Yeah, but he explains it further, like... Yeah, Shabzi, could, huh? could it not be in a certain respect? So, for example, right? What do you mean, say respect? Mm. Yeah, so when you say so, when you have a text, right? You also have how that text is meant to be understood. So, for example, if I said like a, any random verse in yeah. any holy book, let's take the Bhagavad Gita, it's not really a holy book, but it's just like a composition with Krishna and, and something, okay? I'm not a Hindu, I'm just using it as an example, right? Yeah. If I take a verse in the Bhagavad Gita and say it says X, right? Yes, that is what it says, but there's also a way that X is meant to be understood. So there are interpretations from those Hindu sages who would basically interpret or give you the actual understanding of what that um, Understand me, I'm not talking about any clear verse, I'm talking about clear verses, clear logical way. I'm going to bring you a baby picture. Okay. And you tell me the Almighty become baby with the blood. 